In this video I'll create this stained glass effect. Now we go to File, New, and we use the standard default which is 640 by 400. Click OK. Go to Filters, down to Render, Clouds and Plasma. In the, in the plasma we move the turbulence up until we get a reasonable nice pattern we feel that will suit what we're going to use as a glass effect. Click OK. Now we go to Filters, Distorts and we come down here to Mosaic and click on there. Uncheck the Split the Tiles. Now move the tile size up to about 20 using a tumbler. Click OK. We go to Edit. Place it on the clipboard by clicking on the Copy. Now we go to File and we close all. We don't want that one anymore. It's on the clipboard. Now we go back to File, New and we choose a file that is much larger. Just use the down arrow and uh, I'll choose that one there. Reasonable size. Click OK. Now I'll click, click this little button up the top here to bring it up to full size. It fills the screen. I go to my text tool and I choose a bold text. Click on that one there and then type in your text. Move the text up to a good size. That fills your space. Right click the text layer in the, in the layers channel and move down and layer to image size. Right click the, the text layer once again, come down to alpha to selection. We go to select and we shrink that by about 5 pixels. This also depends on your size of your text. Click OK. Now what we placed on the clipboard was in the patterns. It was also in the brush. So we go to patterns. Move the slider up so we can see where we are. Click on the pattern. Go to the bucket fill tool. Click the radio button pattern fill and then fill whole selection. Just click in one of the areas there. Then we go to select and we select none. Duplicate the layer with that icon there. Move down to the lower layer. We go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and blur it by about twice as much. That's 10. Click OK. Now we go to our move tool. Click the radio button, move the active layer and just move it into an area where it just shows the, the stained text. Move to the bottom layer, which is our background layer. Click the gradient tool and choose a gradient that will suit your background. I usually choose the gold one for this sort of thing. And then we just drag it across there. And then we right click the top layer and flatten image. There's our stained glass effect using the standard filters in GIMP. 